Hello. Hello, good evening. Excuse me, I dropped my microphone. <laughs> Hello, how are good you? Night, teacher. Good night, how are um, you? I'm, I'm okay, teacher, and ready. Okay, uh, I haven't seen you in the previous classes. Um, I haven't seen previous classes. I didn't see you yesterday in class. Uh, no, 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 I, I, I don't have time. I'm very busy. Very busy. You have been yeah. very busy. Yeah. At, at work. Yeah, at work. Ah, okay. I, I, I changed my job. Ah, oh, you changed your job. Yeah, see. Um, I traveled for Honduras. Oh, you, you went to Honduras, okay. Yes, yes, yeah. In, oh. in October. Ah, uh, you will travel. Yeah, yeah. Ah, in October. Exactly. When did you move? Um, when did you change the, your job? In, in October 1st. Ah, you will change in October 1st. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, and you will move to Honduras or only for? Um, is um, how how do you say definitivamente? Ah, permanently, permanentemente. Uh, yes. Okay. 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 Yeah. Ah. Okay. Interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. See, is is um, uh, es, es mejor paga. <laughs> Ah, they pay better, yes, exactly. okay. That's it. A new experience, another country, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's uh, interesting. Uh, uh, is, is, is general mayor, uh, manager, general manager? Ah, oh, general manager, okay. Yeah. It's in sales? Uh, in, a ver, um, institución uh, financiera, uh, a financial, a financial institution. Yes, correct. Okay, very well. Okay, congratulations. I wish you to pass up luck. Thank you. What about you, Renee? How are you? Hi, hi, teacher. Hi. Very tired. Very tired for work too. Yeah. Yeah. I have a new job. Oh, really? You too? <laughs> uh -huh. When did you start? Yesterday. Oh, you started uh, yesterday. Yeah, uh, uh, very heavy. Very heavy. Uh, that's yeah. meaning what well, you get used to. You need to get used to the new job. And then yes. everything will be fine. Yes, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, yesterday I can't uh, for the new job. Uh, you couldn't, yes, I, I didn't see you. It, at the beginning, it was just Guadalupe, and later Ricardo, and uh, later Juan, and then Rebecca, and then Carolina, but few people were in class yesterday. Very uh, few people. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. And we were yes. discussing about the kinds of music, uh -huh. some genders, and um, well, also we discussed about simple present questions, like these ones that we have in the example. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So um, if you see in here, they are just not questions. The first one it says, do you like country music? Do you like country music? Yes, I do. Okay, you like it. What about you, William? Do you like country music? Uh, yeah, yeah. You like it. Okay. Yeah. What kind of music do you like, Renee? Uh, I like the music in the pop, uh, hip hop, rock. Uh, anymore. 
Okay. It's mm -hmm. a variety of music. What about mm -hmm. you, William? What kind of music uh, do you like? Uh, I really like uh, salsa. Oh, uh, salsa. Romantic music. Romantic music. In uh, um, uh, music of the uh, 80. Ah, oh, that was good music. Really good music. Yeah. Yes. Today it's like perreo, reggaeton, and all that stuff. So it's, it's not music. I don't like no. No, I don't that's like not this music. No, music. no. I don't know. Only <laughs> music. Uh, it shouldn't be called music. It shouldn't be played. <laughs> but anyway, okay. different cases. Okay. Here, as you can see, we have some just no questions. And here we are, uh, information questions. Uh, how do we form them? Let's see, how do we form them? Um, okay, here we have a short presentation about the, well, as you can see there, in this presentation, we have questions we do and thus. <coughs> And we are kind of, that is a difference because, well, we are working in simple present, right? And the auxiliary will depend. For example, if you are going to make a just no questions in simple present, you will place the auxiliary do at the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. It will depend on the subject, right? For example, if the subject is I, you, we and they, we will use do. Do. All right. Okay. Remember that. And if it's third person singular, we gonna use does. We does. Mm -hmm. For he, she, it, we gonna use does. Does. Okay. Yeah. And then we can. Um, Okay, it's a complement, right? In this case, the verb is play. And um, well, at least in this, we don't change the verb. We don't conjugate it in the third person we, because we are using the auxiliary that work specifically only for the third person. So it's not necessary to add S to the verb or ES. So we don't conjugate it in the third person when we are making question or negative statements, okay? And we have the answer, right? We use the same auxiliary. We use, if it is affirmative, yes, then the subject and do in the case of, ah, yes, I do. Uh -huh. No, I don't, all right? If it's third person singular, we use does, all right? Or doesn't, if it is negative, all right? And well, this is in the answer, when you're giving a long answer or you are providing details, of course, if it is the third person singular, you will conjugate the verb. If the verb ends in E, you will add S, right? If it isn't, a, if it's in a consonant, you add us S, right? In the case of a study that it ends in a consonant plus Y, we change this for I, E, S, and regular verbs, or like ending in O, for example, go, you add E, S. This is in the answer. If it is an affirmative answer, you're going to give more details, okay? Esta conjugación de la tercera persona, he, she, it, solo se hace en oraciones afirmativas. Cuando usted está dando una respuesta y está dando tesis, entonces sí hay que conjugar, ¿verdad? Cuando estamos hablando en tiempo presente. Pero en la pregunta o en oración negativa, no hacemos esta conjugación de la S, S y todo eso. 
Okay, in negative, doesn't, and the answer, right? Doesn't give, doesn't help, doesn't play. So we don't add S to the verb or ES, nothing like that. And we have a simple question here. Does your friend study in the afternoon? What would be the positive love answer? We would say, yes, she does. She studies uh -huh, in the afternoon. Yes, she studies in the afternoon. Okay. Does the cat drink milk? No. No, it. I think they drink milk. It drinks milk. Oh. Yes, it drinks milk. Does the dog bite? Yeah. Bite. 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 Uh, where is bite? Bite. So, uh -huh. What is the meaning bite in Spanish? Bite is what the dog do when they are angry, they ah, bite. Ah, okay. Uh, Mm -hmm. ah, yes. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, it bites. It is negative. Yes, it bites. Yes. It bites, pero este es manso, este no muerde. <laughs> <laughs> Por el tamaño. Yeah, uh -huh. okay. so, remember that. And uh, cuando sea negativa la respuesta y demos una verdad. No vamos a agregar ese, right? Ni nada That's de eso, right. porque estamos no, usando el auxiliar de tercera persona. Ok, ok. Si fuera positivo, si dijéramos, yes, it bites. Yes, yes, yes it bites. Uh -huh. yes, bites. Does Katie answer her cell phone? Uh, yes. Yes, yes, she answered. Uh, she answers. She answers. She answers. Answer, she answers. Answers. She answers. Daniel. Yes, she answers. She answers. Herself. Herself. Does Peter wear glasses in negative? No, he. No, he doesn't glasses. No, he doesn't wear glasses. Uh -huh, he doesn't wear wear, wear glasses. Yes. Uh -huh. If it is, pero aquí decía negativa. Yes. <laughs> What yes. happened? Yes. yes, he wears glasses. Yes, he wears glasses. Does she carry books? Yes, she carry carries books. Carries. Uh -huh. If it is positive, yes, she carries, carries books. Carries books. In negative? Eh, no. no, she no, carries she, books. She carries books. Uh -huh. Si fuera negativa, tendríamos que decir no. 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 She, she doesn't carry books. Uh -huh. carry. She doesn't carry, carry books. Book. Mm -hmm. Does the turtle fly? No, 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 it's no, it's that's it's terrifying. It doesn't tur it terrify. No, it doesn't fly. Oh, it doesn't fly. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't fly. Does he play with the ball? Yes. He no, plays no, no, he doesn't with the ball. He doesn't play. Siempre play. tenemos que poner play. el verbo play. después del play. auxiliar. Excuse me, excuse me, yeah. yeah. That's a review, don't worry. Es un repaso. <laughs> no. Don't worry. Okay. Does he have a job in the afternoon? Yes. He have jobs in the afternoon. He has. He has. Aha, uh -huh. have en tercera have. persona cuando es afirmativo cambia a has. Correct. Does. Uh, yes. Has. 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 
has have a job in the afternoon. Does he have a job in the afternoon? Yes, he yes. has a job has in the job afternoon. In the afternoon. Mm -hmm. okay, and those are just no questions. Okay. No. No. There no. are type of questions. No, no, no. They are called the WH questions, right? The only difference is that we add a WH word at the beginning. Another thing that we studied were the object pronouns. Esto fue el otro tema que estudiamos ayer, right? Object okay. pronouns. Uh -huh. Los object pronouns es um, cuando usted está haciendo una oración, el object pronoun indica, sirve para indicar quién recibe la acción. Okay. Si el sujeto es I, el object pronoun es me. You, object pronoun, you. He, object pronoun, him. Him. She, object pronoun, her. It is the same, doesn't change it. For we, the object pronoun is us. They, object pronoun, them. Okay. Ese fue el otro tema que vimos el día de ayer, del cual hoy estaríamos haciendo un repaso. Ok. Oh, no, yo creo que se, se, ha, se ausentó un rato. Ah, ok. Porque ahí está, está su, su teléfono está en mute. No está ella. Sí. Ahí se ve en la cámara. Sí. Ahí está. Ahí sí. <risa> The microphone, is sure. Teacher, the microphone. Le vamos a enviar un mensaje. Yes. Yes, I had some problem. Okay. <laughs> Me dijo que tenía problemas de conexión. De hecho, no sé si se va a lograr grabar el video. Creo que no. Yeah. Se puso esto raro y me sacó. So I'm sorry for that. Ya fui a chequear que no haya nadie conectado y no hay nadie más que yo. Okay. Oh, well, no problem. Is okay. rain here, teacher? No, no está lloviendo. Eso es lo más extraño, que no está oh. lloviendo. Simplemente se cayó la conexión. Yeah. Ok, pues, suele suceder. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's continue, teacher. Yes, let's continue and see what happened. Okay. Okay. And this, uh, this is a practice. Con esto vamos a practicar object pronouns. Y les voy a ir explicando un poquito más. Uh, Guadalupe sí estuvo en la clase ayer. Uh -huh. Sí, teacher. Vamos a ver si se recuerda. Mm -hmm. Let's save Peter. Let's save Peter. Okay. Peter. You will tell me what is the right option and I'm going to click the option that you select. Sí, ustedes van a decir si la oración lleva un sujeto o un objeto, right? Si es subject okay. pronoun o es object pronoun. Okay. Okay, it says Peter and we're exploring I, in an island, Brine. Peter, Peter and I were exploring in this land. Peter and I. Uh-huh. 
Yes. <laughs> Peter and I were exploring in an island. Ese es sujeto en la oración, Peter y yo. Peter and I were exploring in an island. Subject. Okay. We're watching when a ship appear in the distance. Guadalupe. Us. Teacher. Yes. We. We. We were. Yes. We were, we were watching a ship appear in the distance. We, nosotros. So it needs a subject. Okay. Uh, sure. Uh, yes. We're watching. We're watching. It's uh, like we're watching birds. It's just it's us. Okay, Guadalupe said us. Us. Yes, uh -huh. aha. Si se fijan aquí el sujeto son algunos piratas. Algunos piratas. Yes. Vinieron y nos atraparon a quienes? A nosotros. A nosotros. Es el que recibe la acción. Eso se llama object pronoun. No es sujeto de la oración, es el que recibe la acción de lo okay. que se está hablando, ¿ok? Yeah. Esa es la, la función del de object pronoun. Some pirates came and chased us, ¿ok? Yeah. ok. Next. Uh, William? Uh, he told me, me that he was in danger. Yes. He told me. Who received the action? Me. ¿A quién le dijo? A me, right? Uh -huh. Me. I received the action. Excellent job. Uh, Rene? Okay, the bird catch on him at the beach. Very nice. Nice job. The pirates catch him at the beach. At the beach. William? Excuse me, teacher. Uh, um, he was really frightened. Yes, excellent. He was really frightened. Frightened. Uh huh. Okay. Asustado. Frightened. Uh, frightened. Uh, okay. Frightened. Uh huh. Estaba muy asustado. He was really frightened. Uh huh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Rene. Okay. He was uh, at the home. I saw her too early in the evening. Excellent job. Very nice. You, you are expertos. <laughs> you are expert. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Guadalupe. She was really sur surprised. 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 Very good, Guadalupe. Nice. She was really surprised. Really surprised. William? They have two children. Peter was thinking of them. Awesome. Excellent. Well done. Okay. You did a very nice job with the object pronouns in this part. Let's see. I have, I have 10 in the test. You have 10. Ah, you yeah. have 10 in the test. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Wow, congratulations. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> yes. Uh, what about you, William? How are you doing with the platform? Have you completed? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, finish the. Huh? Uh, no, no. No finished yet. I don't think. No, no, no finished. Okay, and you, Guadalupe, how are you doing with the platform? Todavía me falta, teacher. Okay. Alguna de la, de la cuatro. Ah, pero va bien, porque si está en la cuatro, ahorita estamos haciendo la sección cuatro. Uh -huh. Sí, eh, donde me aparece la plataforma, el do, el do y el das. Eh, 
yo pongo en una, pongo el do en la, y no me sale. Así que ahí estoy, en esa estoy entretenida todavía. Acuérdese que cuando el sujeto sea I, you, we, they, va a usar do. Si el sujeto es tercera persona singular, o sea, él, ella, o una cosa singular, va a usar does. Y recuerde, Guadalupe, que a veces tiene que ver si usted está usando, si es al principio de la oración, bueno, de la pregunta. Si es pregunta, tiene que iniciarla con mayúscula. Con mayúscula. A veces son cositas así pequeñas. Uh -huh. Ah, que no lo dejan avanzar a uno. Uh -huh. Cuando es pregunta, asegúrese de, de iniciar con mayúscula. Uh -huh. Ah, vaya. Ajá. Igual puede mandar ahí este, para que le expliquen. No para que le digan la respuesta. Ojo, explicado. Vea, si dicen, ah, no, lo que pasa es que ahí, fíjese, es tercera persona. Entonces, cuando es así, se usa. No tirarse vaya, a darle teacher, la Por ejemplo, aquí. Teacher, por ejemplo, aquí tengo una, mire, I don't like very much. I don't like kit. Quizás le falta el it o them o algo así. Es que la, la pregunta está así, I don't like, y está el espacio, ¿verdad? Y al final dice very much. I don't very like much. Kit. ¿Y de qué están hablando? Porque ahí entonces le faltaría lo que estamos viendo ahora, ahorita. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like them. Por ejemplo, si le, si le pregunto, René, do you like tomatoes? Contésteme utilizando un object pronoun. Eh, yes, I like, I like them. them. Yes, I like them. I like, I like a lot. Them. Mm -hmm. I love them. Okay. Depende de lo que estén hablando, le falta el object. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lo que estamos viendo ahorita le hace falta. ¿Verdad? Sí. Así que ahí, ahí le pega la revisadita y escriba al grupo para ver qué es lo que hace falta ahí. Ya bien, dice, gracias. Ok. Now, let's see. For example, I don't know what to do. Please help me. Help me. Help me. me. Uh -huh. I don't know what to do. Please help me. Rene, number two. Rebecca is my dog friend. I, I trust her. Excellent. I trust her. Uh, uh, Guadalupe, number three. Who, who's are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I don't, uh, I don't, I don't, do I know. Do I know? Do I know? Do I know? Do I know? I snow with. No, do ¿cuál sería you know? el, el object? Le falta ahí el object. Do I know you? Who are you? Do I know him? Do I know you? You. You. Ajá. Uh -huh. Know you. Do I you. know you? Ajá. Uh -huh. Te conozco. Do I know you? Okay. Number four. We can help. Tell us what the problem is. Excellent, William. Tell us what the problem is. We can help. Tell us what the problem is. Uh huh. Uh, John, welcome to the oh, class. Teacher. Thank you, teacher. I'm late, but I'm I know, here. but maybe traffic, maybe work. We understand. The important thing is that you are here. Thank you, teacher. Okay, yes. number five. Can you complete it, please, with an object Four. pronoun? Were those people as they were? No. Uh, I mean, no. No, no. Who are, who are those people? Uh -huh. Who are those people? Uh -huh. Who as are we, those people? Ask them what they who are, are doing here. Ask them. Ask, yes. them. Ask them. Ask them. What they are doing here. What they are doing here. That's the answer. Now, number six, what is the answer? A volunteer? Uh, my birthday, I take care for 
for me and our family for me oh. and our family that's the answer mm. very good a yeah. uh, volunteer for number seven wait uh, from him mark is a bad boy stay away from him yes mark is a bad boy stay away from him Ajá, uh -huh. estamos hablando de Mark. Mark es él. Y para él, el pronoun es... El object is him. Mm -hmm. Ok. <coughs> Number eight. Let's my listen, is, volunteer. My, my room is very, uh, very clean every week. Every week. Yes. Again. Clean it. I clean it. I clean it every weekend. Every weekend. I clean it. Aha, uh -huh. it. It. Aha. Uh -huh. We are talking about the room. Uh -huh. Yes. Now, number Lily. nine. Lily and Lily Natasha are my girls. I, I, like I like them. I like them. Lily and Natasha are my classmates. I like them. 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 Very nice. Uh, number 10. We are in the picture. You, you can see you can it. see you from the bedroom window. You can see it from your bedroom room. We are in the backyard. Uh -huh. You can see it from your bedroom window. Mm. Read it again. Oh, okay. we are, uh, <laughs> we are in the backyard. Us. You can see us from your bedroom window. Uh -huh. Nos puedes ver Sorry, de, de tu, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> That's okay. We yeah, are yeah. in the backyard. You can see us from the bedroom window. Number 11. Steve is Steve my is brother. Friends. I don't like him. I don't like him. him. I him. I don't like him. Uh -huh. Steve is my brother. Friends, but I don't like him. I don't like him. Uh huh. Yes. Number 12. It's grandmother's, it's grandmother's day today. Day today. Your grandma will be happy. How do you call her? Her, uh-huh. Her. Her. Number 13. Jason, Jason and Jeff, Jeff often come to my place. My place. They, they visit, visit us almost every Saturday. No, mm. they visit me almost every Saturday. Aha, uh -huh, because he said they come to my place. Vienen a mi... Uh, a mi they visit me. They visit me. They visit me. Oh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes. Every Saturday. Uh huh. What about number fourteen? What do you think? My friend is they on holidays holy. now. No, I text him every day. Holiday now. My friend is on holiday. I text now. him. I text every him every day. Uh -huh. I text him every day. Uh -huh. Yes, that's the answer. Uh, what look about 15? Look at the, at the birds on the right. It looks ill. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Uh -huh. Don't touch it. Shit. Number 16. Isle? It looks ill. It looks ill. Luce, luce enfermo. The, pron the pronunciation is ill or isle? Ill. 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 Okay. It looks ill, don't touch it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. At uh, number 16. They are in trouble. The police are for long. Following with them. Them. With them. them. That's yes. the answer. Them. Following them. Uh -huh. The police is following them. Number mm -hmm. 17. I'm, I'm, I'm 13. thirteen. Give me some water. Give me some water, please. Give me some water, yes, please. That's the answer. And number eighteen. My sister, My sister is so, is so annoying. annoying. I am not talking to her today. Yes. That's nice. You Can you translate nice. annoying, teacher? Annoying. What? Annoying. Mm -hmm. Annoying. Annoying. Uh -huh, annoying. Es fastidioso. Una persona oh. fastidiosa. Fastidiosa. Ah, so annoying. Uh -huh. so annoying. annoying. 
Es alguien fastidioso. Like my boss, teacher. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Most of boss are annoying. Mm -hmm. Annoying. Okay. Okay. I think it's a personality trait that a boss should have. <laughs> they must be annoying to be boss. <laughs> okay, with this we finish the review about uh, object pronouns and the questions that we practice. So let us continue. Okay. Okay, it says um, we were practicing some questions uh, yesterday, and there we have some others that we can ask to our classmates. Okay. Okay. We can practice these questions just to have a little speaking practice. Uh, what's your favorite kind of music? What's your favorite kind of movie? What's your favorite kind of TV program? Uh -huh. What's your favorite song? What's your favorite movie? Video game, for example. Just talk about favorites. Uh, Rene, what's your favorite TV program? Uh, my favorite TV program uh, is. Uh, it's a. Uh, soap opera. And a soap opera. <laughs> I think that El Señor de los Cielos is a soap opera. <laughs> what do you think? No, I don't like. Oh. Uh, <laughs> my husband watched it and I said, that's a soap opera. And he said, no, it's not a soap opera. I said, yes. It it's look like. Uh, what do you think? I think it's a soap opera. Uh, well, <laughs> my favorite okay, is. Renee, what's your favorite TV program? Uh, I like it. My favorite program is uh, the, the movies. Uh, movies? Shop. Talk shop. A uh, talk show? Mm -hmm. Like Senorita Laura. <laughs> <laughs> that is a talk show. <laughs> 12 hours. <laughs> and then they say yes, yes. <laughs> a talk show is like, for example, the Senorita Laura. Uh, 12, the 12 hours. Uh, 12 hours. Corazones. Yes, no, <laughs> that is a close case. Close case. Close case. Close case. Close case. No. For example, my favorite TV program is. Um, well, can, we put, can we put there um, a news t shirt? No. A TV series? A TV series like CSI Miami or something like that? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Not Gio? Oh, mm -mm. no. 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 What's your favorite TV program? Netflix. <laughs> Boys. What is your favorite TV program, Juan? I, I don't know if you can put them uh, there. Sorry. Uh, news? TV news? No? It's not a TV program? Yes, it's a news? TV program. The TV news. Which, what do you use to watch Cuatro Visión, Código 21? Or what do you see? Uh, oh, oh, or where when they put in interviews? Uh, no, ah, no. interviews like natural Asocha and things like that. <laughs> ah, okay, interview with uh, persona. Oh, with famous characters or people. Okay. Yeah. 
Interesting. Can you ask one of those questions to one of your classmates, Juan? Okay. Guadalupe, well, what's your favorite song? Mm -hmm. My... What's your favorite movie? My favorite favorite is the TV program. No, movie. What's your favorite movie? Movie. My favorite movie Titanic. is Titanic, no? Is that your no. favorite movie, Guadalupe? Titanic? No. What's your favorite movie? I like me uh, the Lord of Rings. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Lord Rings. Of the Lord Rings. Rings. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Nice movie. It's, yeah. It's a nice movie. Very nice. Uh, Do you like Harry Potter? Is, is, the La Chica del Dragón Tatuado. Oh, that's very How interesting you ever seen? too. Yeah, mm. the, the, I don't know the name of that actor, but it plays the James Bond, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah yes. This is a Britannic actor. Uh huh. It is a very nice, nice movie. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, a good movie. Yes, I like also War, uh, War Horse, Caballo de Guerra. Ah, War Horse. Oh. It's a nice movie too. Now, what about video games? Do you um, have a favorite video game, Victor? William? Uh, no, no, teacher. Um, I don't like video, video game. Oh, you don't I like don't play. Video? I don't play. You don't play video games? Sí. Ah, what about you, John? Do you have a favorite video game? No, teacher, really, I, I don't like it, video game. I'm not sure exactly. I'm about, it, about us. I don't like it. Mm. I think that we don't like video games. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. let's talk about a different thing. We have a conversation here. What do you see in the picture? Can you describe the picture? Um, people's uh, showing. Or viewing a football, soccer, a football, football soccer, or soccer match. Soccer, soccer match. match. Uh -huh. They are in a soccer they are match. Colored frogs, frogs, uh, and ducks. Yeah, and ducks. Uh -huh. Okay, frogs and ducks. They are in a frogs soccer match. Ducks. Yes. Patos contra sapo, rana. Uh -huh, yes. something like that. Yeah, frogs, ducks, ducks. Yes. All right. So it's a conversation. The topic is an invitation. We're going to practice um, pronunciation. So let's repeat. I have tickets okay. to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? I have I tickets to the ticket. One more time. I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? I, I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? Friends. I love Friday At eight o'clock. Uh, at eight o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? That sounds great. That sounds, that sounds great. great. So, do you so, want to have dinner at six? At six. Okay. Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. late. 
Uh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Oh, oh okay. that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, when do we meet at the gate? Okay, okay. when do we meet at the gate? That sounds fine. See you there. That's so that fine. fine. See, you, See there. you there. Okay. Uh, do you have any question regarding to vocabulary? Uh, um, no questions. Uh, I, teacher, I. I, 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 I would. That's I exactly like the short form of I would. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh -huh, es la forma corta de I would. I would. I would. Uh -huh. I would. I okay. Okay. Yeah. Teacher, el so sounds. 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 That sounds. Suena. That sounds. Suena, Suena, Suena bien. bien. Suena bien. That sounds boring. Okay. Now, let's listen to volunteers. Who wants to start? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, I'm young. <laughs> I'm young. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I start. Rene, you start and then Juan continues. Okay, I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks, I love to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, we don't we meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay. okay. Now change. John start and Rene continue. Okay. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. <laughs> you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At eight. Uh, that sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at seven? Um, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the march. Around yes. seven and thirty. Okay. Why don't we meet at the gate? That's fine. See you there. Okay. Very nice job. Let's see what is meet. 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 Uh -huh. He did a very, very good job. Okay, uh, now let's listen to and uh, William. Okay, uh, okay. I'm Dane. I'm Dane Guadalupe Susan. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, I have a ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does is the is start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So do you great. want to? Great. So do you want to have a dinner? I at six. Oh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just just meet at the study before. They march around 17.3. Okay, why don't, why don't we meet at the gate? That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, now change. You start, Guadalupe. I have a ticket to the social March soccer. on free soccer. My yeah. March on Friday night. Friday. Do you Friday like night. to go? 
Thanks. Thanks. I love to. What time that it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six o'clock? Oh, I I like to back how to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around seven thirty. Okay. Why do why don't we meet at the at the gate? That's all fine. See you there. Okay, very good. It's just a matter of practice, so it's good to practice pronunciation. Uh, I think that you can do is to read and read and read and read. Okay. So you gain confidence, yes? Okay. okay. Yes, you did a very, very good job. And that's it for today. I don't know, uh, well, everybody here, it's okay with the platform, right? Okay, great. Sí, todos los que están ya van bien con la plataforma, ¿verdad? No deben nada ahorita. <risa> Yo debo Pero algo, sí. teacher. Solo la documentación, teacher. ¿Solo? La documentación me falta a mí. Ah, la documentación. Hasta el 27 han extendido, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero ya la tengo. Mañana la, me la llevan. Ok, perfect, perfect. Let's continue practicing. You've been doing a great job. It's, uh, well, let's practice pronunciation and uh, a little bit more. What you can do is to read and read and read one more time. Uh, leer varias veces, leer varias veces. Exacto. 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 ¿Verdad? Exacto. Que eso es una yeah. cosa que no podemos hacer en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Exacto, teacher, sí. Ok. Okay, so it's been a pleasure teaching here. So I'll see you tomorrow. You. Tomorrow we will finish. See tomorrow. See you, teacher. See you tomorrow. And let me know if you have any topic that been difficult for you. Okay. If there is a topic okay. you want to review, or you say, teacher, I don't have this very clear. Can you explain that topic again? Let me know so I can take it in advance. All right. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, good night, so good night, teacher. Good, good night. I'll right, see, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Sleep well, and if you're having dinner, enjoy it. Okay. You, you, you too. you too, teacher. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye.